All right, here we go. We're continuing in Chapter 1, Basics of Geometry. Now we are on Section 1 for Day 2. Yesterday, remember, we talked about naming angles and things of that sort. How do we write it, everything, uh, symbols, all that. Today, we're going to focus in on angle addition postulate and angle bisector. So let's start with angle addition postulate. Angle addition postulate simply says, if D is in the interior of angle ABC, then the measure of ABC, in other words, the big angle, is equal to the measure of ABD plus the measure of angle DBC. Okay? So in other words, if we take the two if we take an angle and we cut it into two pieces, those two pieces added together would equal the original angle. That's basically angle addition. Very similar to segment addition, just dealing with angles. So let's try a couple here. So the first one here, the big, the big thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have um, what everything is. So here, sorry, that letter was missing, W. So if we look, it tells me that WXY, that whole thing is 135 degrees. It also tells me that measure of angle two is 75 degrees. And the question is, is what is the measure of angle one? So what we know here is that we know that the measure of angle WXY is equal to the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two. So if we take that information and put it in, now I know this is 135. I don't know the measure of angle one, but I know the measure of angle two is 75. I take that and I subtract 75 from both sides. I know that the measure of angle one has to be 60 degrees, okay? And that's how we use angle addition postulate. Let's try another one. So on this one, it says find the value of x, measure of PQR, and measure of PQS. Okay, so let's go through and figure out what we have and what we need to find. So PQR is this segment here. And we know that to be 3x plus 2 degrees. We know that RQS, this measurement here, is 20 degrees, and we know PQS, the big angle, is 4X. So let's set this up and solve for X. So the first thing I know is I know that 4X is equal to 3X plus 2 plus 20. So with that then, I take and I can minus the 3x from both sides. So now I have x is equal to 2 plus 20 gets me 22. So there's our first answer. Now we want to find PQR. So the measure of angle PQR is equal to 3 times x, which was 22 plus 2. So 3 times 22 gets me 66 plus 2, which is 68 degrees. Then to find PQS, there's actually two ways we could do that. I'm just going to plug into the formula. So 4 times x, which is 22, and that would equal 88. The other way we could find PQS is we could take and go PQR plus measure of angle RQS. And if you notice, if we take that, we would have 68 plus 20, which is also equal to 88. Now, that's an easy way to kind of check your work to make sure it's coming out as it's supposed to as well. But that is how we use angle addition postulate, very similar to how we use segment addition postulate. 
The next part that we need to talk about is what an angle bisector means. Remember a segment bisector we already talked about where it cuts a line segment perfectly in half. It connects through the midpoint. Well, an angle bisector is very similar. An angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two smaller congruent angles. So when you look here, WY is an angle bisector of XWZ, angle XWZ. Therefore, XWY is congruent to YWZ. So therefore, their measurements have to be the same. Okay, so how do we use this? Well, we are being asked here to find the missing information. What is X and what is the value of D, B, C? So when we look here, here's what we know. It tells me that the measure of A, B, D is 4X plus 2. It tells me that D, B, C is 3x plus 19. And what it asks now is it says, okay, find x and measure of angle D, B, C, which is this one here. So let's try to find x. So what do I know about these two angles? Well, because they're an angle bisector, I know that those two angles are going to be equal to each other. So I know 4x plus 2 has to equal 3x plus 19. So now we go to solve this, so we minus the 3x. Then I come in here, I solve again. So x equals 17. Now to find dbc, I simply take and I go dbc is 3x plus 19. So I go 3 times 17 plus 19. 3 times 17, that's going to give me 51 plus 19, which is going to give us 70 degrees. Now, we could continue that, and I could ask a couple other questions about that. I could ask you, what is the measure of angle ABD? And again, we could take that and plug it in, and 4 times 17, that's going to be 68. 68 plus 2 would also get it 70 degrees, which should work because those two angles, DBC and ABD, have to be the same. We could also say, well, what is the measure of angle ABC? Well, ABC is the big angle, the full angle. So we could take that and find one of those and multiply it by 2. We could find them both, add it together. But however we do that, we know that angle ABC would have to be 140 degrees. So that is how we're going to start using the definitions to be able to find and find the missing values and angle measurements that we're looking for. Let's try another one. So here we are told that ABD and DBC um, are equal because BD is a seg angle bisector. We are also told that ABD is 5x plus 5. We are told that DBC is 2x plus 26. And we want to find x, and this time we want to find ABC, which is the full angle. So we're going to start off looking for x. So to find x, we're going to start off, and we know those two angles have to be equal. So I'm going to go 5x plus 5 equals 2x plus 26. At that, now we start to solve. So that's going to give me 3x plus 5 equals 26. I'm going to minus 5. So 3x equals 21. Divide that by the 3, and we get x equals 7. At that now, I need to find at least one of these. I'm going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to find both so that I can just check to make sure I didn't do something silly here. So I'm going to plug into the first one, and I'm going to go 5 times 7 plus 5. 
So I'm using this one here. So five times seven is 35 plus the five equals 40. Now, just to double check, I'm gonna take and try the second one. So I'm gonna go two times five. I'm sorry, not five. Where did I get five? Sorry about that. Two times seven plus 26. So two times seven is 14 plus 26. And again, you'll notice we get 40. So each of those came out to be the same measurement, which they should. So now I know each of them is 40, 40 plus 40. And that will get me ABC, which is 80 degrees. Okay. And that's how we use angle bisector and angle addition postulate.